I'm going to show you the correct way to use the Afro G protein treatment and we're going to begin our video right after this. Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika aka Ms. Magic back with another video. So today we are going to be doing the Afro-G protein treatment, the two-step Afro-G protein treatment and I'm going to show you guys how to do it the correct way. But first before we get started, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Also hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be doing the Afro-G two-step treatment. I'm going to show you guys how to do it the correct way because some people have been telling me they don't know how to do it right or they didn't do it right or their hair is not benefiting from it. A lot of people ask me, how, do my, how is my hair so healthy? Why is it always so shiny? It's because I try to do an Afro-G treatment at least three times a year, sometimes four times a year. I don't think my hair needs it that much. But some people need it a little bit more. Some people do it every two months, but I don't. I try to do it once every four months. So we're going to get started. I know a lot of people are scared. It gets my hair so hard. Oh my God. I don't, it seems like it's going to break off. Yes, this is going to get your hair very hard, but don't touch it. But that's okay because I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take down this old twist out. And I had it for about five days. And we're going to wash our hair thoroughly like I said this has to be done on clean hair not dirty hair so that's number one let's go wash our hair thoroughly if you need a light conditioner to detangle your hair go ahead and use that they are doing work on the outside of my house but hey we're gonna get through this um go ahead and detangle it with a light conditioner and then rinse that conditioner all the way out your head because your hair needs to be product free when we do this and then also we're not going to take it straight from the bottle. Make sure you guys have a spray bottle that you can put it in because you're going to spray it on your hair and that way it will, uh, you can thoroughly saturate your hair and then you need a wide tooth comb so we can comb it through. But first, let's get started on washing our hair. Uh, so meet me back here in five minutes or whatever with your hair washed, cleaned, and detangled. All right, guys, so we are back. Your hair should be washed, um, lightly conditioned, but rinsed out. And um, this is my hair with no product in it. So now we're going to get started on the actual Afro-G treatment. And like I told people, I swear by this treatment. You can see right here, um, it has gotten me all of my elasticity back. Well, most of my elasticity, elasticity back. Um, I do wear my hair straight in the winter time so that I do kind of lose my elasticity in the front, which is why, hence, we do the Afro-G protein treatment because I swear by it. I love it. So first thing you're going to do is make sure you do have two steps because sometimes it comes in a little packet with the one and the two, but I usually just get the whole bottle, which is, this is the first step. And of course it's not going to focus. There you go. This is the first step right here. And this is the first step of the two point treatment. I put it in a spray bottle, thoroughly shake it up. Then the second step is the balancing moisturizer, which I'm going to show you right here soon as it focuses there you go this is the second step so the first step is we're going to thoroughly saturate our hair make sure you shake up the bottle because that will um, it's very loose so this will make it like foamy so it won't um, be all over the place and then make sure you have this afterwards and we're gonna sit under the dryer for 15 minutes with this in our hair our hair is going to get super hard do not touch it do not manipulate it once it starts getting hard, but you do need your great right, drop my comb. You do need your wide tooth comb for this because we're gonna hurry up and just comb it through. Like I said, make sure your hair is thoroughly detangled before you do spray it on. And let's get started spraying it on. Gotta make sure. Okay. I wanted to do a misty spray. Alright. So go ahead. Go ahead and comb through. I'm focusing on my front because that's my lo looser parts up in this front part. 
I got some underneath here, but I am gonna put it all over, guys. I am. All right. Now go ahead and just comb it all the way through. Don't be scared now, it hasn't turned hard yet. So we'll go ahead and comb it all the way through. So that is your second step. You have applied the Afro G all throughout your hair. You've combed it through with a wide tooth comb. And now once you finish combing it all the way through your head, get your ends that you, um, your problem areas, make sure you spray that a little bit more. Now, it's combed through, right? Don't touch it. Do not touch it until I tell you to touch it. Okay, this next step, the third step, is very, very important. We have to use a hooded dryer. You must sit under the dryer for 15 minutes for me on medium heat. Now, if you do not have a hooded dryer, don't worry. You can go ahead and you can use a blow dryer, but you're gonna be blow drying all over your head. Uh, with the, not a diffuser, you can use the, uh, let me show you. So this attachment right here. And you're just gonna spray it all, I mean not spray it. You're gonna blow dry your hair for 15 minutes, but we're gonna go under the dryer. I recommend a hooded dryer. It costs $29 at the beauty supply. Go buy one. And remember, after you comb through this G, do not touch it until I tell you to, which is after the 15 minutes, you're gonna rinse this out. Oh, one more thing guys, go ahead and rinse your hands off because they're gonna be sticky. So go ahead and rinse all of the Afrogee off your hands, okay? All right, guys, go ahead and sit under the hooded dryer for 15 minutes. No cap. Don't get under there without a plastic cap on. You're just going to get right under the dryer. Sit for 15 minutes. All right, guys, so the Afrogee has been sitting in our head under the hooded dryer for 15 minutes. Now, do as I say, don't do as I do. Like I said, do not touch your hair until we rinse it out. But I want to just show you guys, it is definitely hard as a brick. Um, you can see, you can actually see the shininess in the uh, protein treatment after it has been applied. But like I said, don't touch. Go straight to your sink. Now, you don't want to rinse this out in the shower. You're going to rinse it out in the sink or... Um, if you go to the stylist, they'll rinse it out in the bowl, but we're going to rinse this out in the sink. So you're going to thoroughly rinse this totally out. And then we're going to go right in with the Afro G, um, the second part of it, which is the balancing moisturizer. And guys, this only stays on your hair for two minutes. And then we'll go directly to the next step, which a lot of people do not do. But I'm going to show you what the next step is after we rinse our hair. And then we're going to go ahead and put this in. So let's get started on rinsing our hair. Okay, once you get to start rinsing, don't manipulate the hair too much until it starts to get soft. As soon as the water hits your hair, your hair should start softening up. And then you can kind of start manipulating it and making sure you got all of the um, conditioner out your head. So go ahead and rinse all of the conditioner out until the uh, water runs clear. Don't worry about the little hole I have in my robe. I didn't know I had one. All right, so we have rinsed out all of the uh, protein treatment, the first step, and we're gonna go straight. Now your hair is soft. You can you can touch it now. You can touch all over it, but we're gonna go straight in with the um, step two, which is the moisturizer, and we're gonna thoroughly saturate our hair with it. Okay. All right, there we go. And this is basically just a cream moisturizer to restore the balance of your hair, your pH balance. So go ahead and thoroughly, thoroughly saturate it. Guys, this is not the best smelling stuff, but it works, trust me, this works. Um, people ask, well, do you get your curl pattern back right away? No, you do not. This is not a quick fix. You have, it takes an amount of time. Apple G does state that once the protein has, um, that's why you get under the dryer because it seals in the, pro the protein and they say it lasts on your hair four to six weeks. I say it stretches your hair longer than four to six weeks. I say you don't have to do this book quarterly, once every three months, and you're good to go. But you can use it every four to six weeks if you want to, if your hair is more damaged, or your hair is color treated, or you have a relaxer, you can use it more. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and comb this through. 
This does not turn your hair hard. This is basically restoring moisture back into your hair. So you're only gonna leave this on for two minutes. That's it, two minutes and we're gonna rinse it right back out. And then what we're gonna do, which is secret, this, not the very secret in, thing to do, but you're gonna deep condition. Apogee does not tell you to deep condition, but I'm telling you as a naturalista, after you do this uh, two minute um, conditioner, let's go ahead and we're gonna deep condition. So we're gonna leave this on for two minutes. We're gonna rinse it out. I'm not gonna show me rinsing it out, but leave it on just for two minutes, 120 seconds, and then come back when you finish um, rinsing out the ballast moisturizer. All right guys, so we are back. We, are, we have rinsed out the balancing moisturizer to get our hair's pH balance back. Your hair should be nice and springy and bouncy, but this is not it. There is a final step. Apple G will tell you this is it. You can go ahead and style as usual, but this is not it. You guys, you have to deep condition for at least 20 minutes. I say 20 minutes. I know uh, my curls are popping. They looking good. Once again, if your curl elasticity is gone, like your hair is straight ends, like the first time I did the Apple G treatment, I said this shit didn't work. But you have to, it takes patience and it takes time. It does not work overnight. It is a process. The bonds have been sealed. Your hair is strengthening as you sleep, as you speak, as you go out. So you don't have to worry about it um, until it's time for you to do another treatment, which I said I do not recommend. Um, let me put this up a little bit. I do not recommend, still too far down. Like less than four weeks. Why does it keep going down? Anyway, less than four weeks. So, like I said, I do it once every three months. You could do it once every six weeks. I really recommend it more than that, but whatever. Like I said, so today I'm going to be using the um, Briogeo. Briogeo? Am I saying it? Don't, don't despair repair. I love this stuff. This is great, but guess what? I'm almost out of it. I received it in a package. Um, can you see that? Yeah, it's not that much left. I received this in my curl box package. This stuff cost $38 and I'm upset to see it go, but we're gonna finish using it all up. Not really sure if I'm gonna spend $38 on some more, but oh, it's so thick that I might have two more usages of it. That's, that's, that's nice to know. So let's go ahead and get your deep conditioner of choice. Let me know what's your, you guys' favorite um, deep conditioner, regardless of whether it's expensive or it's frugal and it works. But this stuff, you're gonna see after 20 minutes when I rinse this out, my curl is gonna be really popping and shiny. So I might go ahead and, and uh, rebuy, but I'm still looking for something that's a little bit less expensive that does the same thing. Gotta be something out there. Ugh. All right, go ahead and comb your deep conditioner through and then Sit under the dryer for 20 more minutes. Here's the dryer, or you can just walk around. You don't have to sit under the dryer, but I'm gonna sit under the dryer. Let's comb this through. This is the only one that you can put the plastic cap on. I know I've mentioned it, but for the um, for the step one of the Afrogy, no cap. For the two minutes that you leave the balancing moisturizer in, no cap. But for the um, deep conditioner, Yes, we are going to cover our hair so that it penetrates and thoroughly uh, moisturizes our hair the way we want it to. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, put a little bit more. I do got two more uses, this stuff is good. I think I wanna say I got, hmm, six usages out of it. So $40, that's not that bad. And I still got one more. That's not bad at all. You gotta stop being cheap, that's my problem, I'm cheap. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our plastic jewel bag, thank you bag, whatever on, and we're gonna sit for 20 minutes under the dryer again. All right guys, so it has been 20 minutes and I have rinsed out my deep conditioner and look at these curls. They are popping, baby. They are popping. So that is the correct way of how to do your protein treatment. Once again, this does not work overnight, but if you continuously use it every three months, every two months, however you feel like you need it, 
you will see that your curl elasticity will be coming back. Your hair will be stronger and healthy as ever. And it's not a hard process as you see. Just follow the instructions that I gave you and you are good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here. Um, I will be following up this video probably soon, like a couple of days after this video, with I'm gonna do a um, wash and go with the B-Girl Honey Curl Custard. So stay tuned and make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post a video, which next one will be the B-Girl. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. I get back to all of my comments. So guys, thank you. I hope to see you in past, present, and future videos. Love you guys. Bye.